In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up your business bank accounts where you'll never go broke and you won't get ganked on chargebacks. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Be sure to grab your free 19 business courses, first link below. Use that link. We have some people who, for some reason, don't use that link and can't find the special. I wonder why. I'll tell you in a minute why I do this. Before we get into how to set up your business bank accounts, you need to have an LLC, you need to have an S Corp or a C Corp or whatever before you do this. Let's be clear about this. Because if you're not, oh, and you also need to be making some money for your business because it's gonna cost money and if you're not making money, it's not gonna make a lot of sense to you. Now, let's talk about the link. One of the things I've learned as a consultant is if people do not follow simple instructions, they're not gonna follow complex instructions. If you don't click the link under the video, you're not gonna find the special. And I've had people, it's like, oh, your link's broken. No, it's not broken, it's done intentionally. Also, if you call me and you don't follow instructions, I'm not calling you back. Because if you don't follow simple instructions, you're not gonna follow complex instructions. All right, so let's just jump into it. Now this is how you set up your business bank accounts. Now, there are some of you who have businesses who are gonna tune this out and like, I'm already set. And from what I have discovered, many of you who've had businesses for two, three, four years, and if you don't have employees, especially, you don't do this. So what you're gonna have is five accounts, five. First account, it will be your merchant debit account. That will be the account that you receive your PayPal, your Square, your merchant account. Any credit card processing goes straight to that account. And typically, if you sign up with a traditional credit card processor, they're gonna want a hard copy of a business check to make sure that you have a business account. But if you sign up online, typically they don't ask for that stuff. Now, why do you wanna have this account? And then with this account, you're not getting a debit card, you're not even getting checks. You don't need it. This account is only to receive money. That's it. You don't pay bills, nothing. Now, why do you have this account? It is a container of risk. If you take credit cards, at some point you're gonna have a chargeback. It's just gonna happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And to protect yourself and to give yourself more time to deal with the chargeback, if you have an account that doesn't have any money, Sometimes the bank will pay the charge back, sometimes they won't. But essentially, it does not create this cascade of bounce checks, bounce debits, which cost you fees. So that's the reason for doing that. Now, the second account you're gonna have is your operating account. That is what you pay your hosting with. Anything that's related to the business from an operational standpoint, that is what you put in that account. So if you have AWeber and that's 29 bucks a month and you have a whole, let's just say for your internet business, you got $1,500, $2,000 a month of things that have to be paid. That money would go into your operational account. If you have a physical business and let's say your monthly nut is $20,000, $30,000, that money goes into your operating account because that's what you need for operations, okay? Then your second account is expenses. These are things that do not come up all the time. See, operation, money, and expenses are two different things. So let's say you gotta fly to a conference. That's an expense, not a normal expense, but it's a business expense. So that money would come from that account. Then your other account after that would be savings. Yes, you will have a savings account because once you start making extra money, you'll have a place to tag that extra money. It's already set up and boom. Then the next account that you're gonna have is a payroll account. Even if you do not have employees, you will set the payroll account up. Now, why would you do that? 
well simple at some point you want to have employees so if you start taking some money now and by the time you get to the point where you need employees let's just say you have three four five months of salary in that account that money doesn't have to come out of operation money doesn't have to come out of expense money doesn't have to come out of any of that money because it's already set aside so you've got your debit account operation account expense account savings account and payroll account this is going to cost you nothing depending upon your bank and your relationship up to 500 bucks now once you spend the 500 bucks you can just shelter it around in, in the account so it doesn't really matter and once you set up the accounts you can go ahead and pull that $500 out if you need it and you may have to pay monthly maintenance fees so you need to ask some questions of your bank hey if I set this business account up do I get free checking and sometimes they'll say if you leave 1500 2500 yes no fees but once it drops below that they will be tagging you with fees all banks are different so shop around if you already have a relationship with the bank and you've been a good customer you can talk to the branch manager and possibly get those we those fees waived uh, just to note the branch manager can approve credit cards yes they can do that they can do a lot of things for you just if you're not making any damn money and you don't have any money in the bank and the bank can't make money off of you these services will not be available to you and that's the only reason I found out is because at one point years and years ago we had over a million cash in one account plus we had some more money coming in and I was in the bank and the manager was like Psst, just like that Psst, let me talk to you and I was just sitting there like okay strange little Jewish woman why are you at me right and she's like I'm just messing with you because I was always coming in you know a little grouchy and all right I'll be honest I used to flirt with her ass because she was hot and you know she was flirting back that day and then no it was because of my rugged good looks it was because <laughs> there was a million dollars cash I kind of assumed I put it together so we get in and she goes ahead and she just drops these bombs and just tells me all of these things that are now available to me and I've been banking with them for quite a while so once you get some loot and you start to stack some loot, a lot of things will be available to you as a business owner. Now let's talk about these five accounts. You're only gonna have a debit card for the expense account. You will not have a debit card for payroll. No, just one debit card for the expense account. Why? Because you're only gonna be drawing, withdrawing expenses. You should not be withdrawing any of that money um, you know, because you know, a lot of your stuff is going to come from a credit card, and I'm going to tell you how you can do that in a minute. Because what you can do is, you know, let's say you use your personal credit card, right, for your expenses. And each month, for all those expenses, you will write a check from that expense, that operation account to your credit card or transfer the money to your personal account. I would recommend a check and for this reason because when you write the check you could be going this money is for expenses for the month of March to repay credit card so there's a very clear and precise chain transfers can get dicey but a check from your credit card company saying you know when it's spelled out for your account makes stuff super 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 easy you do the transfers, uh, it can get a little fucked up. <laughs> you can have a nightmare on your hands. So you would write that check from the operating account to your credit card company and mail it in. Or you could pay from that account online. Just make sure you keep good records because the check is the simplest and the easiest record that the Internal Revenue Service will not challenge. Transfers, because this is the thing. Let's say you do it right 10 months out of the year, then two months you do it wrong, they will pin your ass on those two months you did it wrong. But each month, you write a check and it goes here, it's clear, it's precise, and you're protected.
once you get the accounts open I'm about to teach you the ratios that you put money in now if you have a brand new business and you're not you know this is gonna be easier if you don't have a lot of hard cost you'll just put 20% in each account so you get a hundred bucks twenty dollars goes into each account now simple that will change based upon your needs but this is where the magic happens if you only keep the money in the accounts that the accounts need you'll always have money you'll never be broke because what it is is a laddering system and it promotes discipline so you're in there you have oops, like driving all crazy so you're in there and you you have your money okay you got your account set up you got your money going in you have a business and you don't really know because you haven't really you kind of have a general idea what you're going to do is put 80 percent of the money that comes in an in operational account and you're going to put five percent well let's see the 20 percent divided by five like five percent in the rest of the accounts and as you go through with the ebb and flow of your business you're going to push as hard as you can to get to 20 percent now this is the game this is the magic let's say your monthly expenses from your operating account of five thousand so you're gonna push to put five G's in all five accounts right so that's 25 grand a month now if you manage to make 25 grand a month but it only cost you five thousand a month to run your business you've got 20 grand in other accounts you do this month after month month after month you'll start to experience something calling having more money than you need all of the time you'll pay all of your bills you'll start playing this game first the month comes you'll just pay everything immediately because the money is in the operation account you'll just pay it boom done then you'll look up six months down the road you got 100 G's in the bank. Maybe 200 G's, depending upon your business model. And your bills are paid, and you have all of this money. And that's pretty much how it works. It's, you know, I'm, I'm being really simple because it is that simple. It's about discipline, and it's about setting goals and pushing. Because once you do this, it's going to change your business forever. Because I've talked to some really smart people. Of who just don't do this and it's just not set up they may have ledger accounts and everything but having these five counts now let's just go with you know I already told you what's happening with the debit account and you're only gonna have a debit card for operations and you're gonna have checks for operations that's it well okay you'll have a debit card for expenses my bad you'll have two debit cards one for operation one for expenses uh, you might need checks for expenses depending upon your business model. So you, you'll have checks. But the rest of the accounts, no checks, no debit. Well, going back to the payroll, you will have to have checks or you'll have to get set up with ADP or one of those payroll if, unless you want to do it yourself, which means you'll have to have checks. But you don't have to buy checks for that account until you get employees. So if you already got employees, then you already have a checking account. But, and you won't have a debit card for that. And let's talk about these payroll accounts. Let's, 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 let's be really real about this. That money, if you, you know, I'm going to speak from experience as someone who was living on the seat of my damn pants. Um, you want to, I well, thank you, kind person. You want to have two to three months of payroll money in that account that way if you have a shitty month everybody gets paid because if you want to have a mutiny on your hands if you want to have people stalking you oh yeah and it's illegal and you want to go to jail for not paying people because you know you hear this thing about it's like a civil suit uh, to trick people into working and not paying is illegal 
And if the right person files the right complaint, they can come get your ass. So, just saying. By having that kind of proactive mindset, you set your business in a calmer, more sane and productive enterprise to make you a lot of money. So, right. Okay. That's pretty much it. Uh, it can get a little deeper depending upon if you've got real estate and that's just, but the, typically the five accounts will cover most businesses or all businesses during the early stages. As you grow and you need, your, your needs grow, your, re, your resources grow, your requirements grow, then yeah, other accounts can come into play. There's other things you can do. But those five accounts for right now should get you set up very nicely. So if you're a business owner and you want to increase your revenues, call me. Now I'm put an additional qualifier. You need to be making some money. I've got a lot of people who've called me who, who are business owners. I'm not going to marginalize you like that. But your business isn't your primary source of income. So you don't have a lot of numbers to work with. So when we have that conversation, I can just kind of go on theory. I can say, hey, your business is great. If I really think it's great, if it is, if it's shit, I'll tell you it's shit. But for me to help you, you got to do a little bit more. Uh, I got a lot of people, especially with this thing where the challenge, I, I've had four people like, let's Skype. No, what we're going to do is a Google Hangout <clears throat> and you're going to send me information about your business in advance. Not going to be a cold call and you are, you're someone that doesn't have a business and you're just kind of jacking off because it's like, well, really? He does answer the phone. Seriously, I've had to happen and it's just like, it's no biggie. But for people who are really trying to do something, it is the, it's a, not a really good use of resources, which is time. So if you want to do the challenge and you want to, you know, that's cool. But I need to know about your website. I need to know about your, your ads. I need your phone number. I need to know that you're a real established business. You can be brand new and have all that. You can be new two, three, four months, five months, something like that. But for me to get deep into your business, you need to have some business. So I'm just putting that out there. And this will be repeated. Just saying. All right, this is Glendon. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.